everybody welcome to our concrete homestead channel if you're new to the channel we just want to welcome you uh, today's a really exciting day this is the first day ever using the entire new driveway so this is exciting it's a Monday morning it's the very first time we're gonna drive all the way back to the building site on the new driveway so I'm just gonna talk a little bit and film this historic journey so like I said if you're new to the channel or if even if you're not we really appreciate all our viewers um, we're uh, gonna build a concrete home in the woods is the general idea and we're taking you along for the journey and it's 2300 give or take a little probably a little more feet off the road we're going back to that woods so we uh, retired from one career my wife and I and we're starting another business and gonna start a new career so this is a perfect opportunity to build a house in the woods our dream home we're uh, middle-aged and uh, so we purchased the property decided where we wanted the house wow we had a little drifting over the weekend and uh, we pretty much had an idea that it'd be all gravel where the we're gonna put in a full basement and a walkout basement so uh, we decided to, uh, wow, I better, wait a minute. I didn't know it drift that much. I'm gonna have to back up and get a little gas to, to really get some power here. So, uh, watch me get stuck on the first visit back. So, we laid out our driveway. You can watch that in previous videos with a GPS tractor. And uh, we dug out topsoil. We did all this with a track loader ourselves. Because like I said, we're in between careers right now. So we had time. We dug it all out. We used our own gravel for 95%. Oh, we did buy... 120 tons out by the road just to when we put in the culvert at the road we wanted to get off the road so we had a place to park because if you watch the previous videos many times we had to walk back to work because of the mud so the reason this is so historic is we don't have to walk back anymore and uh, we can drive back park work I need to make a turnaround area with gravel here so I can bring my trailer back to get to Kubota but anyways we're here if I actually lived here I'd be pulling up into the garage right now and I will jump out and show you the basement on this video so today I'm gonna investigate and see if I can maybe haul one or two more loads of gravel it's frozen up and then uh, be done hauling gravel for a while. I'll top off. Of, it's a little thin where I ended up if you watch the last video. So right here is the basement. I'm in the garage right now. So the basement's dug. We used all the snow. There's snow right now. And it's very windy, so you probably can't hear me. And let me go get back in the truck. There's the new driveway. So when we dug the basement, we had to take um, elevations and uh, get the depth correct. What we did was, uh, in previous video, we took some elevations and we determined the basement was done about 150, 175 tons ago. So we had to find a borrow pit on the property which that's where we dig another hole and borrow that gravel and put it on the driveway. So 
we've got a borrow pit uh, around the woods on the other side where we borrowed gravel and uh, we finished the driveway at 12:30 a.m. Saturday morning which was 12 mid around midnight Friday night and uh, very exciting so that's the update and uh, where we stand so uh, stay tuned for more and uh, very soon here we'll be uh, getting the blueprints done and hopefully getting those to the county to get approved as the next step So I don't know how much more I'll film today, but uh, just wanted to get that historic journey driving back on film. Okay, I know it's windy. We're back at the borrow pit, 10.30 Monday morning. We're going to haul two more loads. Uh, the driveway is done, but there's a couple thin spots out there that I just don't feel comfortable. I need to get two more loads out there, then I'll feel like it's... 100% complete for now and uh, it's gonna thaw out we got to hurry up and get these two loads out there and then get this Kubota out of the uh, borrow pit because it's gonna be too muddy to haul okay we're back we got our two loads hauled there's one dumped on the driveway and the other one's up there we took the dump trailer home and washed it and put it away for a while. We definitely won't be hauling any more from the borrow pit this week. It's melting and getting wet out. So we hooked, now we, uh, then we ate lunch and uh, it's one o'clock. We got the uh, flatbed trailer and uh, we're gonna go back to the building site and park and then we need to walk over to the borrow pit and get the Kubota and bring it over here and uh, I'll probably go ahead and remove this snow that's causing me a little bit of heartache here these drifts and then I'll spread out those two loads of gravel and do touch up work on the lane for a couple hours then we're going to take the Kubota home I know it's windy so I won't talk long three o'clock we're done here for the day it's getting wet we got them two loads smoothed out there's your new driveway that's not all of it turn around there's some more so I uh, appreciate all our viewers and uh, we got the motor loaded up I'm standing on the fuel tank on the trailer and uh, we're gonna fill up everything with fuel take everything back to the shop give it a bath and do our service subscribers my goal is 500 subscribers and then I'll buy a new camera so maybe one that doesn't get in the wind so thanks a lot everybody have a good one hey what's up everybody here we are next day no wait take that back sorry um, last filming you just watched was on a Monday and that was the first day of the big thaw out and it's actually a Thursday morning so I came out to the site I did not come out uh, Tuesday or Wednesday it's a Thursday morning about 7:30, quarter till 8 and uh, just wanted to show you how it's been thawing out for a couple days uh, we have some bare ground showing finally um, it is below freezing so it's a little the ground is frozen I can walk out here without any mud or anything um, but it's foggy because the, there's so much snow cover and um, but just wanted to come out and check things I'm going to just go right back to the office and work in the office today so uh, and I want to take another video uh, we had a little trouble with our uh, number 10 truck I wanted to show that to you I'll get back to the shop and show you what happened there we had some tire issues but uh, 
came back the new driveway and uh, it's crusty frozen so not sure how it's doing really it's not a good time to judge it but uh, at least we're done hauling gravel for a while we need to service the Kubota here probably tomorrow but uh, today's office work and uh, go from there but yeah I do have one video I want to take to show you what happened to the truck so we'll just add a few short snippets here and uh, to make this a complete video for YouTube and and kind of keep you updated what's going on okay I wanted a video and show you my $450 rock so this is what I was going to tell you this rock notice it has black streaks on it this rock got caught stuck clear inside these duels wedged up in there and I didn't know it uh, picture this rock way inside there and I didn't know it it happened on a very snowy day one of them days I got stuck and so when I drove home the truck was vibrating I thought I had frozen snow in my tires so I didn't worry about it and then uh, that was on a Friday or in Saturday and Sunday we didn't work and then we had this big the big thaw that I call it and the truck was still vibrating so then I knew something was wrong so I checked my front air pressure and all that and then I started checking back and found that rock and it ruined them two tires um, when it had went wedged itself in there it broke the steel and uh, there was two bubbles one on each tire obviously they were ruined and uh, I thought I could drive it for a while I didn't do anything about it for 24 hours and I left the shop one morning I wanted to go out to the farm and uh, heard a big blowout and uh, so one of them blew so I immediately went and got these two tires fixed so two tires cost me 450 so that's my $450 rock so the tip for the day is if your truck is vibrating there's definitely something wrong investigate a little more than I did but I think my damage was already done I think when the rock went in there it um, ruined them two tires so that's the tip for the day nothing fancy just if your vehicle's vibrating investigate a little take a couple minutes to be safe out there everybody so I think we'll end this video here. We really appreciate our viewers. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We'd like to get some more subscribers. Um, tell your friends to watch uh, local. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully we don't have any more $450 rocks.